I was beginning to think that Iceland was an ideal place to be a single woman, I was also starting to realize it wasn't perfect. The main thing I'm hearing is that people in Iceland don't date the way they do in America. So I need somebody to explain what's happening. We just uh, meet through friends. That's how we meet or when we are going out. If you go out or whatever, you meet somebody and you would like to take them home, whatever. Why not? Why do we always have to get emotional? It's like, okay, we're just having sex. We, we take the guys like this. <laughs> we used to have this club called FUKK, which stands for an Icelandic uh, group of young single females. We drink a lot and just go for it, and men are afraid of us. Women meet men at bars here, they have sex, it's very liberated, it's very open, and it's not such a big uh, uh, recording and dating and drinks, and you, know, you can't sleep with them out until five days, and then he has to do this. I need more of your culture here. Okay. We are inviting you to uh, maybe, you know, tell men to start asking. Yeah. You. I would also say the opposite that it's nice to have been less formal, yeah. just sort of like your all out meeting, and it's more fun that way. Mm -hmm. Does anybody think that it's better to just sort of do it the way you guys are doing it? Absolutely not. No. no. <laughs> you don't like this just meeting at bars and No, of course not. We want to get to know the person. You know, one, two, three, four, you know, steps, not the first night or whatever. Well, stop sleeping with that yeah. guy. <laughs> the first time you sleep with If we are so strong and independent, why don't we change uh, the, the dating market? We'll start tonight. Yeah. No one go out, no one gets drunk, no one has sex. No. Okay, no. No. next week when I'm gone. Okay. Okay. So in order to understand better this drinking and dating dilemma, I knew I had some serious field research to do. Are you